Way now the WKA European title fight on the co the co main event of the evening fighting out the red corner we have Giannis Scordelis versus Clement Bibard out of the blue corner where I present where the purple shot strong push kick there right from the off Bibard smiles and shrugs it off Bibard representing Impact Savak Scordelis representing the infamous Storm Gym many a champion and a big brother contestant scored the list there really strong looking sort of side kicks Not seeing much from the Bard now. I'd like to see him sort of come back with something. He seems quite tense. He seems really defensive. Scordillis looking the bigger of the two men here, in actual fact. Rangy. Perhaps slightly more reach. The Bard starting to uh, press forward a little bit more now. Looking for a way in. Sure the Bard is uh, complaining something there as well. I didn't quite make that out but <laughs> Scott Delis just losing his balance there slightly Robard looks like he's really trying to find his way in here with the hands oh, he's starting to loosen up a little bit man and then let him let uh, inside and let those hands go Oh, being backed up into the corner, nice jumping knee there from Scordillis. That looked dangerous. That looked dangerous. The eyes of the Bard wide open, attentive now. Stiff jab there, slip there by the uh, Bard. The Bard just walking to the end of another jab there from Scordillis. Oh, nice catch and counter there from Scudillis. The crowd appreciative of that. Ooh, a strong looking left hook. Those knees are really threatening. Several times now that knee has come really close to hitting the mark. Which is Babard's face. First round come to a close. Strong start from both these two young fighters. Second. Round two of this five round championship fight just about to get started now and the bass wasting no time the bard sorry wasting no time opening inside turning kick there moving around quite nicely trying to find his way in nice little punch kick combination there good work rate from the bard here again there's that knee from Scordillis, dangerous looking knee. Nothing seems to really be bothering Scordillis too much here. Although Babardi's working at a good pace, he's moving around, he's throwing things in fast. It doesn't seem to be bothering Scordillis too much. Nothing seems to have the power to slow him down yet. Whereas Scordillis, on the other hand, when he throws those kicks, when he throws those things, they look dangerous.
just seems to be a big power difference between these two guys in terms of in terms of what I've noticed here. I mean, we've got a nice left hook there to come through, landed on the chin and scored Dillis again. It just hasn't even wobbled him. Some of those punches are really starting to get through now from Scott Ellis. Looks like he's only serving to anger Babard. But still, nothing Babard seems to be serving up at the moment is putting Scott Ellis in too much trouble. Scott Ellis just slowly moving forward, not wanting to waste too anything. I see it's a five round fight, not a three round fight. Starting off slow, looking to pick up momentum. Babard, on the other hand, as I say, is moving at much faster pace. having a little bit of trouble here, closing the space now. I say Scordillis looks like the much bigger of the two fighters. I say he's rangier, but it, it, he's normally when you look that much taller, you look a lot more slender, but he doesn't even look, he, he looks bigger built and taller. Some real damage now starting to appear on the leg of Bibard, that left lead leg. He's taken some punishment, the welts that are starting to appear up. Scordillis looks like he's really starting to take charge of this bout now. Looking more confident, everything looking like it hurts. Scott Dillis just wants to be careful with that side kick isn't getting a little bit too low. Oh, nice. Nice hook to the body there. Gabar walks onto a stiff jab. Gabar now looking like he's really struggling to find answers at this point here. Just doesn't know what to do with Scott Dillis. And hopefully the bell signifying the end of the round again my moment to consult with this corner and come up with a plan. Round three of this championship bout getting on the way now. Babard in the purple shorts versus Scott Dillis from Storm Jim. Fighting out of the red corner. Babard complaining. Is that a low blow he's complaining of there? Not sure. Something wrong with his glove perhaps. And stiff punches there from Scott Dillis. And that horrible, frightening looking turning kick doing even more damage to the already battered looking leg of Babard. And Babard really looking like he's in trouble now. Scordillis is starting to look confident. He knows, he knows he's controlling this fight. And there are those knees, the knees we talked about them earlier. I say we, I mentioned them earlier. They look threatening, they posed a threat several times. And now one's got through. Does this signify the end for Babard? How's he gonna deal with this? Scordillis just seems to get stronger as the rounds go on. Every single round, he's getting more confident, more composed. Those kicks, absolutely shocking. I'm not sure what's going on there. Something wrong with uh, Babard's arm. He made a complaint about that earlier, but he seemed to be all out of options. Thank you. 